everyone it's Megan welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to talk to you about the Louis Vuitton key pouch or key clay I wanted to give you a quick review because I am a sucker for small leather goods SLGs if you're fancy anyway I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this piece I've had it for a very long time the date code is in here uh, this was one of my first pieces. This was my very first SLG from Louis Vuitton. And I just can't get any crevices for the date code. Anyway, I've had this for probably six or seven, maybe eight years. And this is the key pouch or the key clay. This is in the canvas material and monogram print. It also comes in Damier Ben and Damier Azor in the canvas. It does, this is the smallest key, key pouch that they make, the key clay. They make a larger one that is the Verni and um, that one I believe comes in six different colors and it is a monogram, it's like embossed monogram. And then it comes in my absolute favorite, which I'm, devastated I want to say devastated it's like it's totally a first world problem and that sounds super melancholy and dramatic but the emprunt leather comes in four different colors and the emprunt is so gorgeous it's um comes in rose ballerine which is my absolute favorite um they're actually out of all four of their colors that they make in the emprunt key clay. They are all like call to purchase, call to order, whatever. So let me just give you a few quick things about the emprunt leather. Um, it is completely different than this. Um, the Verni is the same in the fact that it has a zipper and cl closure, but the um, emprunt actually has um, the snap closure. It has like the stud that you flip over and snap. It's kind of like envelope style. It does have a gusseted compartment. It has a pocket inside of it, um, the wallet, and then it actually has one of the key hooks and then it's made from the calf lining leather. Whereas this is canvas and then the inside is the grain calf leather lining. On this side, it does say Louis Vuitton, made in Paris. It's just, this doesn't open very wide, so I don't really wanna stretch my bag out. The reason that this is so amazing and that this was my very first piece was because I knew that I would be able to use this in a variety of different ways. This um, is actually how I used to, initially it's how I carried my keys. So it does have the D-ring holder. So this will hook on to any Louis Vuitton handbag that you have, if you have a handbag, that is Louis Vuitton, you know about all the D-rings. Um, it actually would probably hook on a lot of different handbags. And you can actually not only use this on the inside of your bag, if you have like a Speedy or a Neverfull or something like that, you could actually clip it on the outside of your bag as kind of like a decorative accessory, especially if you had like a Damier Ben or an Emprunt or something like that where you wouldn't wanna put canvas monogram on canvas monogram and you probably wouldn't want to put this on Damier Azor handbag. Um, I think it would be absolutely gorgeous on a Damier Ben because I think they're very complimentary of each other. This does have the zipper enclosure. You know it has that traditional, I'm not holding it well, let me hold it well so you can see how amazing the zipper is after all these years. But this is so awesome because it fits in your pocket. It's so easy. This fits in your pocket. It also fits super easily in your purse. And I used to carry my keys. So I would have my keys here and I would just have this hanging. And then I would keep my rewards cards. These aren't all of them. These are just the ones I use frequently. At the time I was using this, I did carry all of my rewards cards in here. Um, I also would rotate it with putting some cards. I have a driver's license, some store cards, credit card, debit card, and they all easily fit. This is just five cards. I could have probably gotten more cards out to show you how easily and how much it closes because it holds so much. Like you can see, I mean, look how much room it still has. So you could carry cards, ID, you could put cash in here, you could put coin. Um, if you're like me and you like to carry a paper check just in case, because for some reason I decided not to sign up for a Target red card for a very long time and I could have probably had thousands of dollars saved, not really, but okay, so it's like that situation. Like 
I actually ran out of paper cards or paper checks and I'm like oh my gosh if I was carrying my check I could have signed up like a long time ago anyway so that's just what I'm telling you like really this could be your wallet and your key holder because you could have cash coins cards ID and you could also put like a folded up check in here uh, and it would hold all of it easily there is a problem with the wear and tear on the brass because I used it so much you can just see but I think I can get that repaired but that's the only wear and tear on this piece and that's why I am such a huge fan and advocate of getting it everything in canvas because it holds up the emprunt leather does hold up and it is durable but it's so soft I would just be afraid to kind of you know toss I'm always in a hurry and I'm sure you are too most of the time so you're kind of I'm not gentle with my items and I like to buy stuff like this because it did cost $200 but the reason I like to buy this is because I know that it's not going to fall apart in a week a month or five years and it hasn't I've had this you know somewhere between five to ten years and literally the only wear and tear is on the zipper and I can easily get that I think replated or rebrassed or whatever but I just wanted to show you that it does hold those things but it also could hold your earbuds, it could hold your rewards cards, like I said, it can hold makeup, it could hold, here's like a lipstick, you could easily throw like um, a shadow in with that or some type of primer or a chapstick or even a small gloss. You could use this if you wanted to carry jewelry in it, if you wanted to take your jewelry off. Uh, you can use it for so many different things and that's what I'm currently using it for. It's just kind of like a catch-all with kind of like random stuff that I do put in it. And I love this piece. I would never get rid of it. And actually, I want to get the Damier Ben and I would like to get the Damier Azor. I'd like to have the triple threat, all three of them, because I think not only do they make amazing pieces in general but they're gorgeous accent pieces to your handbag and it is something where it's not too distracting it's not too loud it's not too crazy but it saves room in your purse because you can carry it on the outside anyway I am super impressed like I said this is probably one of my oldest Louis Vuitton pieces and I absolutely love it it's still in gorgeous shape and condition now if I had the opportunity to do it all again I would have called on the first day that the rose ballerine or the Nior I think it's the black is Nior I think because those are completely different because they're so much larger you can carry so many more things in it you can actually carry your keys and you can carry so you can carry your keys on the clip on the emprunt key clay but you can also carry it as a wallet on the inside you can do that with this too by putting your keys and you could keep your keys tucked in here um like i said with my other video that i just reviewed the six ring key holder the whole point is to protect the inside of your bag so your keys not scratching it up or scratching sensitive items inside of your bag so ideally you would keep your keys on here and then just tuck them in here zip it and throw it in your handbag so and then you could just put this in your pocket put this in a small handbag a clutch whatever and then you could throw your id a debit card credit card and or maybe some cash in there i use this all the time and i've literally used it for every single example that I've given you. I have put the most random stuff in here ever. I used to carry like our family insurance cards in here. I've carried, like I said, like sometimes when I get out, I'll, I'll when I like take my jewelry out or I'll get like, oh, like I can't take it. Or if I have a gift cards, um, just about anything. Anything that fits in here is going to be something that you need on the go. Like I said, you can clip it to your keys, your purse, whatever. I still would carry it as a key holder if I didn't have the monogram six ring key holder, even though I have it in the Adamia Ben as well. But I would still carry it as that. And you know what? Like I might switch it up and go back to it this way. And then I can, you know save some wear and tear on my six ring key holder but I highly recommend this piece I think this is maybe one of those um putting your foot and toe in the water this is one of those pieces it is I, I, I hate to say this but it is on the less expensive side if you're making a Louis Vuitton purchase it is $200 and 
it's something that is everyone has so if you ever wanted to sell it people look for these they seek these out so you could definitely get your money back and that's with all luxury pieces like that is people are always saying why would you spend that much on a handbag or you know an slg or whatever but it's they don't understand the the resale on it I'm, I'm not gonna get all my money back but I used it so I got the wear out of it and then I can sell it and move on with my life and buy something else I for one will not be selling this at all and I am gonna be on the lookout I'm either gonna check out some sites to see if they have um, pre-loved Damier Ben or the Damier Azor but I feel like the pre-loved pieces in the key clay or the key pouch are kind of in rough shape I feel like not rough shape but I feel like you know there is wear and tear as you can see and it's like for $200 if they're selling them you know used with wear and tear for $150 I'd rather just spend the extra $50 and then you know put my own wear and tear on it I I feel like those sites, like if you get on Lugie's, is it Lugie's Closet or Fashion File, I feel like the prices are either $25 off of what you would pay at Louis Vuitton directly or they're $50 off or like right around the same amount or they're the same price or sometimes they're higher. Uh, so I just, and then you never have to, I know with them they're guaranteed not to have um, be a knockoff or a replica or anything like that but I just really enjoy having the key like the the key pouch I have I really appreciate having the dust bag and the box that this came in because that's how I personally store all of my Louis Vuitton pieces um, I keep them in their dust bags inside of their boxes and then I will stuff it with like acid-free tissue paper a little bit just to keep it shape enough with all of that that's a lot of info uh, let me just get back to this anyway if you don't have this in your life you need it it's so fun it's so versatile and you definitely won't regret it I would love to hear other pieces that you have in mind or actually if you have the Damier Azor key clay please tell me what the color transfer is like because I would like to know before I buy it first and spend the $200. Uh, I'd rather just not waste my money and then maybe just get the black on prompt leather because that's the one I really want next. That's definitely on my wish list. Um, so, and let me know if you have those, if you have the on prompt, like what you think of it. Do you carry it as a wallet? Do you carry it with your keys? what is the color transfer like on the different colors i know there's like a cherry color there's the it's it's navy blue essentially with like red trim and then the rose ballerine which is called a purchase but let me know what your thoughts are on those i know it is softer but i do know it's also very durable but i love this i don't regret it for a second give this video a thumbs up if you love items like this and if you want more videos of reviews of some of my Louis Vuitton items I don't want to make this all about Louis Vuitton but usually with my handbags and leather goods I usually buy you know Kate Spade or Longchamp or Louis Vuitton they're kind of my favorite I haven't branched out into Chanel or Hermes or anything like that yet yet I probably won't because I think that's absolutely insane like insane the prices anyway comment about the transfer and about the Damier Zor and the Emprunt. Comment if you have any video suggestions and give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.